I'm going to make this video brief, because if I will get into the details, the video will turn out to be very long. Ok, so on the GBA, as Pokemon games, we can list first the trilogy, Ruby, Sapphire and Emerald. They all have the same story, the difference between them is that among those 386 Pokemon each game has, there are some differences. Some Pokemon appear only in some games, while others appear only in other games, but the number remains the same. Also another difference is the frequency, meaning that you can encounter certain Pokemon easier in one game and harder in others, and vice versa. Also there are some stylistic differences, they don't change the game nor the story, but if I will choose one of them, I would choose Emerald, because the stylistic differences look better there. Or at least to my eyes, the color palette used looks better. And the game even has more animations. And if you're new to Pokemon, let me tell you the basics. You choose your starter Pokemon and then go roam a gigantic world and catch wild Pokemon or just defeat them. And if you catch your Pokemon, you can name it. You go to gyms and defeat gym leaders for badges, you buy items that help you in your journey, you can ride bicycles, go with boats, talk to people. The, the games are fantastic, mere words can't describe how awesome they are. And even the stuff I've listed, it doesn't exhaust the subject, there's more to it, there's so much content in the games and they are so fun. As I said, mere words can't describe how awesome the games are. You have to experience the games to know what masterpieces they are. If you've never played one of these Pokemon games, don't listen to the review anymore, just download it, get it from somewhere and play it. You won't regret it. These games are masterpieces. Pokemon Pinball, Ruby and Sapphire is just like any other normal pinball game for the GBA. It's fun and runs nicely, just like pinball games on the GBA usually are. Basically it's pinball Pokemon themed. It's cute and runs smooth, so if you find the game appealing, you will like it for sure. Then we have another duo for the GBA, Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green that are based on the Game Boy games Pokemon Red and Green. They were remastered to such a level that they feel like totally new games. Now everything looks more detailed and the colors are different as the GBA can handle more pixels at a time. And in rest you get hot new features that appeared along Ruby, Sapphire and Emerald. As I said, it will take me a lot to get into all of the details, but I found someone who did. I will leave the links to Candy Eevee's videos in the description. If you want to know in detail about what makes each Pokemon game different, she's the one. And in Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Red Rescue Team, you get transformed into a Pokemon after taking a multiple choice personality questionnaire and have to build a Pokemon Rescue Team. The combat is a combination between turn-based and real-time attacks, which is cool. And I liked that each one has its unique and specific attack, in rest you have free roam and get to do multiple tasks and free weaker Pokemon from stronger Pokemon. The game is cute and nicely made. And you get transformed into a different Pokemon based on your personality. And the combat is really interesting, I mean it has a reminiscence of the old classic formula of combat, the turn based one but it's in real time at the same time. It, it's interesting, it, the combat is really an interesting mixture. Ok, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, click the join button and choose one of the perks. You have the link to the join button in the description. Also you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord if you want. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and there will be thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.